so once again very good day to you my dear students uh, should be the first class that we are dealing with so we are going to discuss about html structure as well as uh, text in today's class we are going to discuss about html structure and text okay so about this uh, particular class i should tell you uh, whether you have prior knowledge about html or not do you have prior knowledge about html okay so html stands for hypertext markup language okay hypertext markup language so generally i have given you an example of uh, why you use html maybe for front end as well as back end uh, web developing yeah for on sorry for what yeah 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 for for front end as well as back end for displaying as well as you know for writing the html tags where whichever website you take into maybe if you are going to dis, uh, you know make a website similar to your shopping websites or maybe online newspapers or maybe journals newspaper articles magazine articles whatever may be you can use uh, uh, this html for backend and uh, you can come up with cool trendy online websites okay so for any platform you use html tags you should uh, try to explore about uh, bold tag italic tag table tag list tag okay yeah for each of them okay so that's this is what you have to do it in your laboratory classes okay so simply you know researching the internet doesn't help you so for each of the tags you should know about it only then you can explore several features with the html and html i can say it's a very very interesting language to study it's very easy it's very simple to understand so this is html structure and text okay so this is especially for you my dear students and young researchers and you can reach me at dr at christoanand at the rate of gmail.com before beginning anything like uh, before you eat before you do anything first of all you thank god okay you thank god as for me i thank god for giving me this golden opportunity to deliver this useful session to share my knowledge among my fellow national international participants students and young researchers so this is what we are going to discuss in today's class we are going to discuss about a short introduction to structure and then we would discuss about how you use pages uh, using structure okay and then we discuss about how you structure the word documents like how you include these html tags in the word documents and uh, of course these html tags definitely uh, describe the structure of the pages and then i will discuss uh, you about the html attributes okay html attributes which are going to decide upon the html elements okay and then we would be uh, you know discussing something about a web page on a pc of course the right side is something you would enjoy you would enjoy working with like uh, we have bold tag italic tag superscript subscript white space tags line breaks horizontal rules strong emphasis we would discuss this and then we will have uh, shorter quotes as well as uh, site element of course i have already discussed the enumerant work in the google classroom and of course we have short videos to discuss the knowledge in our today's topics you, you have something to discuss right so this is a short introduction to a structure maybe if you take in the case of any online platforms any web pages okay so you use html as the backend okay you use html as the backend that's what i told you in the earlier class i showed the example of a newspaper like in the newspaper in the in the top of the newspaper you have the name of the newspaper name of the newspaper okay and then you will have in the first page in the first page of your newspaper what do you see introduction okay introduction it's a it's a sponsored content it's a sponsored content they have, they would have given huge money they would have given huge money okay so it will be displayed in 
big letters big letters okay and then that would be a big image big image okay but if you go in the second page or maybe third page the font size would be little lesser and you have maybe one or two paragraphs with some small images and some description in it okay now considering the first page the title is very high so it is considered to be the highest heading highest heading okay the next page you have heading level 2 maybe in the third page you will have heading level 3 heading level 4 heading level 5 heading level 6 okay, it goes on okay and also the paragraph in the paragraph you will not have bold you will not have bold it will be like normal normal characters this letter is different from that letter the top okay that is bold this is normal okay so why we are doing like this we can write it in normal characters why we are doing like this just to attract the readability of the authors yeah, yeah, yeah. only then people will, will read the newspapers if i display like this for 365 pages then you will never understand you will feel bored you will throw the newspaper and you go out okay yeah. so just to improve the readability we use html tags so maybe in the online stores in the online catalogs you go to a pizza shop okay you go to a pizza shop you go to a shawarma shop okay it will be displayed in big bold colorful tags colorful tags you will have some images even i can understand even i can understand okay it will be it will be not in english but i can understand it will be showing some images and it will be showing that some 10,000, 20,000 it will be showing, okay. So, that is how you attract the readers, you attract the customers, okay. So, in all kinds of the documents, structure is very important because you can understand the message what you are trying to convey. No matter in whatever language, okay, whatever language, I am understanding, but I do not know the language, okay, right. So, it is very easy to write web pages using html tags and that is the reason you go for html tags for structuring the documents okay so this is a short introduction to structure i am showing you a glimpse of uh, what you should display okay for example here you have the main heading this is actually the main heading okay this is in big font big font and bold okay and then you have a small text underneath okay then you have a subheading like first it was like this then it went like this okay smaller smaller heading okay and then you will have like uh, you know uh, some line in between and then you have another subheading okay the size from here reduces like this and then reduces like this okay so this is another subheading okay so this is what you are going to display okay so this is a simple example of what you have to display okay so maybe you can think about stories you read in your newspaper for each story you see there will be a headline there will be some text so there will be some images okay so if the article is a long piece okay maybe if it is a long piece maybe if it is a documentary article if it doesn't have images maybe in order to improve the readability they what they do they will have subheadings okay maybe in html okay maybe in your class okay maybe there are some 30 students in the class okay student number one student number one said blah 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 okay and then then another heading student number two okay ta -ta 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 and then another student number three okay now i am not having any images of the students but i can increase the readability by having some subheadings now everybody can understand student number one student number two student number three student number four it goes like this okay so structure helps readers understand the stories in the newspaper so the structure is very similar maybe if you have a hard copy of your newspaper you can understand similarly the soft copy of the newspaper that you see in the internet that you see in the uh, online 
websites that also is quite similar okay so now you think about like different type of document maybe like insurance forms or maybe medical bill okay okay for each of the thing they are increasing the readability of the author okay for example if you are going for uh, maybe to book a, 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 any shop okay um, a medical shop you are going for booking an air ticket you are booking you are going to book a train ticket okay for each of the thing they will be having some heading there will be some bill okay and then there will be a stamp no no it becomes easy for the readers to understand okay now if i type without any spaces it doesn't look good okay right so this is what uh, we can use structure in his table and even in the case of the questionnaire for example uh, in uh, university that you study they are asking for a feedback so how is the teacher teaching you how is the teacher teaching you yes very good good bad very bad so they will have check boxes they will have check boxes very good good bad very bad extremely bad none of the above they will give, they will give like this okay now if i say your teacher is the same line i am giving good good very good bad very bad like within without spaces if i type it doesn't look good check boxes if i have it's good this is what you call html structure okay right so maybe you can fill in the blanks okay maybe you can fill in the blanks you can have check boxes even so this is you can have it as a hard copy or maybe you can have it as a soft copy this is what is an example okay you can see like vivo revolutionary it is displayed uh, in bold okay and also it has some space it has some space also you see like a uh, interview okay that is displayed in blue and then you have a heading okay this is displayed in bold okay then you have a paragraph see it started out with one big one character thing. one big character like a s a it is okay so only then people will see okay okay it, it looks good now we can read it okay so similarly uh, the hard copy you have a soft copy also the soft copy also same same okay so in uh, many platforms whenever you are going for web developing okay whenever you go for web developing many people will make this mistake okay they will write the html tag very good okay but when it comes to front end it it doesn't look good maybe in the desktop it will look good maybe in the mobile it will be shrinked or it will be elongated it doesn't look good so yeah only thing like uh, uh, you see youtube you see youtube youtube even you look in the desktop it is just the same even if you look in the laptop it is just the same even if you have a, a pad you know, notebook notebook kind of computer it is just the same if you have a mobile it is just the same it doesn't look elongated or it doesn't look shrink okay so this is how you have to uh, you know come up with the html tags okay so this is what you call html structure so with the case of structuring the word documents maybe you can have headings or maybe you can have subheadings also okay so maybe you will have some uh, a big paragraph even for each section you will have different layer of subheadings okay so maybe you can also go for um, uh, check boxes also you can also go for drop down boxes also for example in in a questionnaire maybe if you are booking a flight ticket maybe let us take in the case which country do you reside in you can have a drop down list okay uh, whatever may be saudi arabia bahrain uae okay russia philippines you can have anything and you can select each of them maybe the country which you reside okay right so if you regularly use word maybe you can uh, use the formatting toolbar or maybe a palette for doing all this stuff see in the word document i am giving you the example this is the main heading 
okay how do you do this one in the word you remember in the word heading one heading two okay you will have okay right and then you will have a subheading also okay another subheading which is slightly lesser size okay right so i can very well confidently say that html describes the structure of pages only with html you can describe very well the structure of pages so in order to describe the structure of the web page you have to add codes so that's the reason you go for html okay and also it is not only about displaying it is about displaying very well it is it is about displaying trendy for the even the younger generation to read it okay right that's what is uh, very much expected so this is an example just go through the tags for example in the html you start with the html tag and then you start with the body tag okay and after the body you have h1 h1 is the main heading you remember this one mm -hmm. this is the main heading you see the size big okay so you start with the h1 tag this is the main heading okay and then what is p tag see this one is h1 tag this one is h1 tag this one is p tag what is p tag yeah what is that p paragraph paragraph okay so you this is the starting of the paragraph you i think you said it right okay so this text might be an introduction to the rest of the page and if the page is a long one it might be split into several subheadings so you can have this this n number of lines n number of lines you can start with the paragraph p tag and you you should uh, maybe if you are going to split it up maybe you can go for slash p tag slash p tag is ending it start it with p tag end it with the slash p tag okay and then h2 what is h2 second level of heading second level of heading this is a subheading okay next what is p tag another paragraph tag many long articles and then slash p okay right and then again h2 another another subheading okay another subheading you close with slash h2 okay and then another paragraph here you see another subheading and slash peter and then you close the body tag you close this body tag you close this html tag okay slash body slash html that's it very very easy very very easy okay when you know this one you will never waste your laboratory class you will never waste your laboratory class you will be doing august and you will put this in your cv you will put this in your resume i know html okay now you are a proficient web developer okay right so you can have like different colors also so html code may be like in blue color is made up of characters that live inside angled angled brackets angled brackets okay so these are called html elements so in elements we will have two tags one one uh, we have like html opening tag and then another one is closing, closing tag, tag slash slash tag okay so the clo closing tag has a extra forward slash in it so each html element tells the browser about the information between the opening as well as the closing tags so this is what i am telling you i am giving you an example html body yeah this is the main heading we have the paragraph h2 this is the subheading paragraph you start with the paragraph and you end with the paragraph and then h2 another subheading you close it with the slash h2 paragraph you end with the slash p now after completing everything you close everything what you started you close okay you open the door okay don't leave the opening the door and you come you close the door and then you come okay better better for me better for you okay so tags act like containers so the opening html tag 
anything between it and the closing tag so the body tag indicates that anything between it and the closing body tag should be inside that main browser window for example if this is the browser window this is actually the body so whatever you display doesn't come in the heading it is displayed only in the body okay and the words between the h1 and slash h1 are the main heading p is nothing but the paragraph tag h2 is nothing but the subheading p is the paragraph tag once again h2 subheading p another one paragraph tag closing the body tag means it will end up to only here yeah. okay it will not come down or maybe it will not come up okay and then the closing html tag indicates that it is the end of the html tag so this is a closer look at the tags um discussing this again and again left angle bracket is less than symbol right angle bracket is uh, more uh, right uh, i mean greater than symbol this is left angle bracket with slash it is closing okay so this is one so we have some uh, attributes also that's uh, there are some parameters in html like we have an attribute name okay like a uh, p language language equal to fr okay this is actually p language p is actually the paragraph tag okay lang is actually the attribute name okay language okay it is the attribute name okay equal to fr what is fr Fra french french okay so they are well, so p lang equal to fr means they are discussing about a paragraph tag in which the language is french for example p lang equal to eng it is a paragraph tag which is in english okay so this is what uh, we are going to discuss okay so so the majority of the attributes can only be used on certain elements such as lang and this is what you try to define the attribute the, uh, language which we use your language which you use okay maybe you can use your own language also yeah. local language yeah. also you can do so but uh, uh, don't forget to know about the uh, attribute name for example in your country the language you speak what is the short form you should know like fr denotes for french eng denotes for english similarly for other languages yeah. for chinese for japanese whatever may be you have to short include that short code that you should know Right. So we start up with a body, head and a title. Body means something which is in the main browser window and then head means that uh, you will see in the title. Okay. For example, if you open any window, okay. For example, if you are applying for any job, if you are applying for any job, they will give you a website link. Maybe if you click on the link, it will show you a browser window. So in the browser window, you will have at the title job application to xyz company okay so that is actually the head head okay so this is what the the contents this content should be the head element so this contains information about the page okay so it is not about the information which is shown within the main part of the browser window but it contains the information about that page about that page for example if i try to open microsoft word okay then in the title you will have microsoft word hyphen new document one okay document one or new document one it will show okay okay so similarly powerpoint microsoft powerpoint document hyphen new document one that is actually the uh, title yeah title okay 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 then you have the title okay so the contents of the title element are either shown in the top of the browser above which you usually type in the url of the page that you visit to so this is what you see it multiple number of times okay so this is uh, an example of a sample html code so we will have html head and then within the head you have title okay remember head is actually the top you see title is actually here you see within the browser window okay so this is the title of the page okay and then you have slash head body okay uh, you complete that head tag and then you start the body tag 
H1 is actually this is the body of the page. Okay, and then yeah, yeah, with it. Anything that follows the body tag should be within the browser window. Okay, so uh, that apart from this body, you have only the title. This is the uh, title of the page. This would be the browser window title. You okay? You get it. Then ah name name. Then you have the body. Okay, this is the body of the page that displays over here. That displays over here, and then you have paragraph. Anything within the body of a web page is displayed in the uh, main browser window. Okay, so this is displayed as a text. Okay, and then you close the body tag, and then you close the HTML tag. So anything uh, written between the title tag will appear in the title bar. For example, this is the title of the page. Here, see, yeah, this is the title of the page. That is actually the title. For example, Microsoft Word document, Microsoft PowerPoint document. You see that? That is the yeah, title, title. So this is uh, then you have this one content. This is actually the heading. This is the heading. Yeah. So this is the body of the page, and then you have a paragraph. Anything within the body of a web page is displayed in the main browser window. So body means completely only within the browser window. Okay. So creating a web page on a PC. I am sure this one is pretty much outdated. It's very outdated. Yeah. Okay, like uh, the modern computers that you use, maybe in the window button, you search automatically. But here I have given you an outdated version. Okay, so you start. Okay, from the start, you go with maybe all programs. Okay, you go for accessories, Notepad. Okay, and then you download a free editor called Notepad Plus Plus. Maybe you have this notepad in your laptop or desktop that you use okay right so you have from uh, the notepad plus plus from notepad plus hyphen plus hyphen plus dot org maybe uh, just download this notepad already you have notepad in your desktop or maybe the laptop that you are using okay so what you do afterwards in the notepad you type this html tag you type this html tag okay and then when you save it you have to save as dot html dot html okay right so you save it as a notepad file but remember the extension is dot html like for example abc dot html okay so make sure the save as type drop down has all files selected when you save as then normally the it will display you the type of the document you should select as all files all files make sure that it is given as all files then you save it okay so this is what i am telling you when I, when you, you go for save as this one you see all files all files and then you save it don't save it as different format if you save it as a different format the code doesn't work yeah okay so start your web browser go to the file menu and then select open then you browse to the file that you have just created you just click on the open button okay so the result should look like this one okay the title you have my first web page and then here you have a tab tab okay maybe mozilla firefox or maybe google chrome or maybe microsoft edge that you are using you will have a tab my first web page and then within that you will have a heading welcome to my first web page and then you have a paragraph this is a html page i created on notepad okay so this is what i am telling you okay so this one if it doesn't display means which means you have saved it in the text file format if it is not displaying which means you have saved it in the text file format dot txt which means you have to change it once again save as dot html dot html okay. right so first uh, this is an example first just dot html okay. so as i can say you uh, with the examples h1 is considered to be the highest level of heading h2 the next level of heading h3 the next h4 fourth level of heading h5 fifth level of heading h6 six level of headings so totally like uh, we have like six levels of headings h1 is the top level biggest okay and then h2 next one h3 small 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 it goes like 
so browsers display the contents of headings at different sizes and the contents of h1 element is the largest h6 to be the smallest this uh, they have given example h1 this is a main heading slash h1 h2 this is a level 2 heading this is a level 3 heading this is a level 4 heading level 5 heading level 6 heading so this is how it is placed okay from bigger it goes small to experiment the coolest animations and to bring about images to bring about titles subheadings and text uh, styles you can use this html so earlier we saw examples about html only like online platforms but you can use it in animations also just like this okay so like uh, to discuss about the spaces between the characters okay maybe to go in this direction or maybe to go in this direction the maybe the dog goes in search of the cat cat goes in search of the rat can do whatever stuff you want right so this is paragraph tag you will start with the p tag and then you will end with the p tag you need not have to end the p tag every line maybe where you end it you can go for ending the p tag okay so this is uh, the result of a paragraph so what you do you surround the words that make up the paragraph with an opening p tag and a closed slash p tag and then you have the bold as well as the italics tags whenever you have to display the text in bold okay you go with the b tag and then slash b tag so whatever you go with the b tag and slash b tag the characters appear as bold okay so the b element will represent a section of text where uh, you will represent it in a visually different way for example it will be like thick thick in uh, color okay and that's the meaning okay and then you have the italics so italics means whatever you display straight it will be tilted slanted okay right so this is italics so italics element also represent a section of text in a different way okay maybe uh, then maybe your name can be displayed uh, maybe some foreign words maybe if I have a thought maybe if I have some some special definition I can display in the italics and then what is SUP what is SUP UP SUP it is it is given the what is SUP superscript what is superscript what is superscript x power 2 x power 2 x square x power 2 that 2 is superscript ah what is the formula for water chemical formula of water h2o this 2 is subscript subscript x power 2 superscript x power 2 this 2 is superscript okay this superscript element is used to contain characters that should be a superscript for example 2 power 2 that upper 2 is the superscript okay h2o h2o this 2 is subscript down down super sub okay subscript superscript so this is how we make the word appear okay like we have the bold tag okay so this is uh, you start with a p tag this is a paragraph tag okay so this is how we make a word appear then you start with the b tag b tag is actually bold tag okay then you cl close the slash b okay close the paragraph tag once again you start a paragraph tag inside a product description you might see some and then you have a b tag it is bold key features key features is displayed in bold okay then you close the b tag bold tag in bold then you close the paragraph tag so whatever is displayed within the b tag it is bold for example bold is actually bold okay and similarly this one key features that is is displayed in bold okay you understood right then you have italics also this is how we make a word appear like within the i i tag 
it is italic so italic is displayed in italic slanting okay Work for another yeah yeah you can do it whatever you think the change the types of the words yeah 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 bold you can do italic you can do change the figure yeah yeah and then you close with a paragraph tag then you have a paragraph tag once again it's a potato and then i italic tag the name the name the the name the the name of the fruit or maybe the name of the vegetable you can give okay the the botanical name botanical name you remember botanical name of to isolate from the yeah another word. yeah another word you use in italic okay and then another paragraph captain cook sailed to australia on the you have a italic endeavor it's in italic okay so you see italic over here it's italic solanum uh Tabarasam, it is in italic. Endeavor, it's in italic. Okay. Then you have the superscript as well as subscript. Okay. So uh, you have the subscript. Okay. It will have characters that should be a subscript. Okay. Normally it will have like I have discussed in the example H two O. So two is actually subscript. Just, okay. you know, just like uh, degree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Degree. Just, degree. Degree. Yeah. But this subscript is not degree. That is superscript. That is this is subscript. H2 you know, down. It's, uh, in index. Ah, index. index. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So in the paragraph tab, you have on the four, it is subscript. Uh, sorry, superscript. TH. Four power TH. Fourth. 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 Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. ah. Then you close the superscript of September. You will learn about E equal to MC superscript 2. So E equal to MC square. What is E equal to MC square? What is E equal to MC square? This this is out of box question. What is E equal to MC square? What is E equal to MC square? Very good. This is Einstein's relation. Einstein's relation E equal to MC square. Okay. Knowledge is very important. Okay, right. So, uh, okay, E equal to MC square. Okay, then you have a paragraph. The amount of CO <coughs> subscript to <coughs> subscript to means CO down to carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Okay, in the atmosphere grew by 2 ppm in 2009 subscript 1 so 2009 subscript 1 okay so this is the result what do you mean 1 subscript 1 to 2009 to the base 1 yeah for this it is equal for what it's mathematical yeah Maybe. Sorry. For what uh, equal this two thousand nine? No, that was a that was a paragraph. That was a paragraph. But here they included a superscript. Okay. See, you you will see in the result. See, on the four power th of September, you will learn about e equal to m c to the power two. To the power two is actually superscript. Okay. And then you have another paragraph. The amount of c o. Yes. To in the atmosphere grew by 2 ppm in 2009 to the base 1. Okay. Right. And then we have the white space tags. So, in order to make the code very easy to read, you can add some white spaces or maybe you can start with the new line. Okay. So, when the browser comes across two or more spaces next to each other, it will display as one space. Okay. So, Similarly, maybe if you take in the case of line break also, you will have 
single space also so what you call it with a white space collapsing okay so this is what you have discussed here the paragraph the moon is drifting away from the earth slash p again the moon is they have given some space they have given some space intentionally they have given the space intentionally like a uh, uh, wantedly they gave the space okay the moon space is drifting away from the earth okay and then again the another paragraph the moon is drifting away from earth next line they are giving okay you should understand why they are giving like this one but in the result you see that unwanted space is removed you get it the moon after this only one space they are allowing and after that that extra space they are not considering html doesn't consider okay so for the first one the output is the moon is drifting away from the earth the line is clear In the next line you see the moon is there is a wanted space but html doesn't consider the space so you get the same output the moon is drifting away from the earth okay and then the third line see one line space one line space even that html leaves it leaves it so you have the same output the moon is drifting away from the earth okay so it's all about practicing exploring okay and then you have the line break as horizontal rules so to, uh, down. yeah down 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 so the browser which one h r h r ah, horizontal horizontal then you'll have vertical also i'll, I'll discuss so uh, b r is actually like uh, the browser will automatically show each new paragraph or maybe heading on a new line so if you want to add a line break maybe in the middle of the paragraph you can use br tag okay and then you have hr okay so this is actually uh, horizontal okay horizontal line break between the sections you can use hr tag horizontal break so there are a few elements which do not have words between the opening and closing tag so this you call it to be the empty elements okay right so i'll be discussing about this one see when the way is a paragraph tag you start with paragraph the earth and then you have br tag whenever you have a br tag which means the next word that follows should be in the next link okay gets 100 tons heavier every day okay every day and then again another br tag which means the next words should be down okay due to falling space dust. so the earth next line gets 100 tons heavier every day next line due to falling space test and then you have another example paragraph tag venus is the only planet that rotates clockwise okay even if you write clockwise in the next line also it will type continuously only one line one line only one line only okay and then you have a hr tag hr tag okay that is actually a horizontal one okay then you have a paragraph tag jupiter is bigger than all other planets combined so this one is displayed in a single line venus is the only planet that rotates clockwise okay and then you have a horizontal break horizontal break means one line one line okay then another paragraph jupiter is bigger than all other planets combined that is another line okay so this is horizontal break and then we have the strong as well as emphasis okay strong is similar to bold okay so the use of strong element indicates that the content has strong importance okay so just like uh, bold just like bold tag you have the strong tag okay and then you have em which is emphasis so it is going to emphasize uh, changes the meaning of the sentence okay emphasize means similar to italics slanted same so strong tag means you remember bold tag emphasis tag means italic tag and then you have the block quote element which is used for longer quotes that takes up an entire paragraph so 
note that how the p element is still used within the block code okay so that we would be discussing this one and then you have a q tag okay so q element is used for shorter codes remember block code is used for longer codes and a q q tag is used for shorter codes okay for example i say hey mister get up i say okay so this is actually a shorter code hey mister stop using the computer you what are you doing you you are not fit for the class you just go out this is longer code okay now i bring you the attention okay so this is longer code this is shorter code okay okay and then uh, you have uh, like uh, site attributes to indicate where the code is from okay then you have site also okay site tag also that's quite similar okay so when you are referencing a piece of work maybe a book or maybe film or maybe research paper you can use the site element uh, international sorry in the international president of cooperation said you use the site tag okay maybe if it is taken from a, a a book okay maybe from quran it is taken okay maybe if it is taken from the bible i use the site tag okay so maybe for a book maybe for citing if you if you take from uh, something or something someone some take bibliographic site. site tag okay so uh by the citation okay in html5 that is the latest version site should not really be used for a person's name but in html4 it is actually allowed okay that's they have the own procedures so and then you have the paragraph uh, strong beware okay this is strong okay strong refers to bold bold okay and then uh, close strong tag pickpockets operate in this area close the paragraph tag okay and then paragraph tag this toy has many small pieces and is strong tag not suitable for children under 5 years old so this is actually in bold and then use of emphasis uh, paragraph tag i yeah italic emphasis means italic think is in italic think is in italic okay and then i think iv uh, sorry ev ev or iv it's in italic was the first i think ev was the first first is in italic it also matter which uh, which italic or emphasis you to use it no problem no problem you use the bold tag or maybe italic tag same same this is strong tag emphasis tag uh, it's a different version Two types. Yeah, two types. Yes. It is similar to uh, black in light color, black in dark color. <laughs> Same. Black is black. <laughs> okay. And then example of a block code. Okay. Uh, and then you the you have the Q Q tag. Okay. For shorter codes, longer codes. Okay. Like block code site equal to. I am referencing to a particular location, wikipedia.org slash wiki slash Winnie the Pooh. Okay. And then you have the paragraph tag. Did you ever stop to think and forget to start again? Okay. So this is actually a paragraph tag. Okay. This is actually a paragraph tag. And then I have a block code. Remember, this one, it started from one, one position. Whenever I use block code, immediately it goes to the left. You see the output. This one is in one direction. Again, if I am using the block code, it goes like tap. It goes like this. Okay, block code. Okay, as A A Mill said. Okay, it's a quote. Q tag. Q tag. Okay. Some people talk to animals. Not many listen though. That's a problem. It's a long quote. It's a long quote. That's the reason you use Q tag. Okay, for longer quotes. Okay. That's all. Q Q refers to code. Okay, so this is another line. So for this one, they have used like uh, double quotes, 
Okay, after uh, each of the sentence again ending double quotes. That's for the only uh, only cube. This means double quotes. Double quote, yeah, yeah. If you uh, if you want uh, one quotes. What one, one quote? Two. You can go for shorter quotes. You remember this one? I uh, well, this I forgot. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Shorter quote. Yeah, shorter quote, longer quote. Then you have the example of site as well as definition. You remember for this one, for this one, okay, block code site equal to wikipedia.org. Actually, this one was taken from the internet, from Wikipedia. So that's a thing I was mentioning. We need the proof. And then you have the example of site as well as definition. Okay. So we have paragraph tag, we have site, brief history of time. That brief history of time is actually site. Okay. Site means you are citing from something which means it should be displayed as a italic okay and then uh, by stephen hawking has sold over 10 million copies worldwide so that is being displayed normally only so that a brief history of time that is actually displayed in italic okay and then uh, you have uh, this one paragraph tag uh, so you have uh, 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 okay and then that's a definition dfn is definition okay black hole black hole is actually a definition okay it's a region of space from which nothing not even light can escape okay so that black hole it's actually a definition definition but it is displayed as normal only normally only it is displayed but you are actually telling the browser that it is actually a definition So this is complete thing, complete thing. So I am going to ask question from you. Okay, it's a very simple question. You start with the HTML tag, head tag, title, title. What is title? Text. So it displays in the top, top. Okay, and then you close the title, close the head. You start the body. So start the body means which is in the browser window. Okay, the H1, the story in the book, the story in the book. Okay, and then you have H2, sublevel heading. Okay, chapter 1, you close the H2. Okay, then what is Peter? Paragraph. Paragraph. You start this one, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then I. What is I? To, to change the uh, words. words. Uh, italic. 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 Okay, so nature, nature is in italic. Okay, and then again, I tag. New scientist is in italic. Okay and all the other scientific journals blah 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 okay and then you have site site on the road how will it be displayed on the road on the road it's it's like some sites from slander same italic okay right and then it has been molly's favorite book okay then the same thing goes okay another paragraph okay another paragraph what is q tag yes Quotes. Quotes. quotes okay normally when q is given you use double quotes you use double quotes okay right work is the refuge of the people okay and then it goes on okay and then you are going to point to a you know the attribute okay abbreviation title equal to uh, deoxyribonucleic acid dna that's an abbreviation okay to be an outstanding achievement molly emphasis em what is em emphasis yeah what is your emphasis what is EM tag? Uh, italic. Also, you the emphasis. Emphasis. Okay, what is strong? Strong. Uh, this bold. 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 Okay, very good. So, emphasis is italic. Okay. Think she had something better to do. So, that's this one. So, I think uh, the output for this one would be this one. Like, uh, we will have like text and then we will have the story in the book and then small heading chapter 1. Uh, we will have nature in italic new scientist in italic and then on the road would be italic okay and then wo uh, work is the refuge of the people that one is a coach coach okay then you will have did did what did is uh, italic okay and then the paragraph continues anyone and work i've already given them in the google classroom please complete them so just like last semester Please complete them. <coughs> Don't be let let it not be a copy-based work. 
I will easily identify those who have copied. Okay. I know there are some students who do really good, and there are some students who maybe copy. Don't copy. Okay.